What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today there was a new weapon added in to Advanced Warfare. This, my friends, is the Ohm Heavy Weapon. So, uh, this new exclusive weapon that comes with the second DLC pack in Advanced Warfare, which is still a few weeks away from launching, but it's available early to Season Pass holders on the Xbox consoles. Now, uh, you get two versions of this weapon. There's the Ohm, like regular base edition, which is kind of like this brass and silver looking one. Looks pretty cool. But then also, there's the Ohm Werewolf variant, which you guys can see here is kind of like a, a yellowish gold with a dark gray urban camo. I really like the way this one looks, but based off the end game stats, it doesn't seem worth it. You guys can see you're trading negative one accuracy for plus one mobility, which isn't that great, but I can't wait to get my hands on the actual end game stats and see what actually changed because oftentimes it's it's quite a bit different but anyway yeah let's talk about this ohm i want to give you guys kind of like a, a first impressions and, and quick look at this thing show you guys some early gameplay i will do like an aw gun guide like in-depth video on this uh, probably later today or tomorrow but I uh, wanted to give you guys a first look here. So uh, it's classified as a heavy weapon, but it's actually an LMG shotgun hybrid. So you can use the D-pad to toggle in between the LMG mode and the shotgun mode in game, which is, uh, is pretty cool. Now, uh, I will say the shotgun mode is really not that effective. Like, you guys can see the poor range right here. Like, you pretty much have to be within knifing distance if you want this thing to get you, you no know, consistent kills. But uh, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think if it had a really good shotgun attached to it and it was already a beast of a weapon, uh, as is, I feel like that might be a little bit OP. So I think they did it right there. Now, uh, another special thing about this weapon is it's actually a direct energy weapon, but it handles differently than the other ones that we know and love. So instead of having unlimited ammo like the EM-1, the AE-4, it actually fires bullets. There are 40 rounds in every magazine. And rather than having a cooldown period, you actually have to reload this thing like a normal weapon, which is uh, a lot different than what we're used to. And sometimes I find myself having low ammo in this thing and forgetting to reload because I think, oh, direct energy, it's just going to cool down and I'll be fine. So you got to watch out for that. Uh, the reload's actually pretty long too, so I think extended mags, once I unlock it, is it, going to be a pretty valuable attachment. Now, uh, in general, what do I think about this thing? I think it's extremely powerful. I, I think it's definitely one of the better weapons in the game and probably the best DLC weapon we've ever received in Call of Duty history. Like, this thing is devastatingly lethal at medium to long range, just based off the field so far. Like I said, I don't have the exact stats yet. I will have that in a video for you guys later today. But it's just like, it it's nuts how strong this thing is. High rate of fire, not a lot of recoil, does pretty good damage, like, it it medium to long range. You're out shooting battles half the time. Like, it feels really, really good. Short to medium range is a bit of a struggle, but then super short range is very effective when you have the shotgun mode active. So, uh, yeah, it's not quite the best gun in the game, but it's definitely a very, very solid option, which is nice because oftentimes DLC weapons aren't really the best. But I think this one is definitely pretty good. And I think you guys, if you're on Xbox, definitely hop on, check it out. I think you're going to love it. If you're on PlayStation, you have to wait till the DLC comes out. But it's, uh, it's still pretty sick. So, uh, yeah, like I said, later today we're going to have, like, a, a, you know, advanced warfare gun guide on this video. So make sure you guys check back to that. There's also a, a few other parts of this patch with uh, nerfs and buffs on weapons that are currently in the game. There's some new features added and stuff like that. So be sure to let you guys know everything that happens once those patch notes come out. And uh, make sure you guys keep checking back later today for more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.